Maybe he forgot we have a meeting today. I don't think so. Because he's 30 minutes late already. And I have another appointment soon. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't... I apologize for my lateness. I had to do one or two things before coming in. That's okay, Mr. Bassi. Let's start. Here I have a list of the property you both share. This meeting is basically to decide who gets what. She can take everything, including the house. She deserves it. That house was a gift from your parents for our wedding. Why would you want to give it to me? It was a gift to us. That is why. How many times do I have to tell you this, Peter? Tell me what? Um, Mr. and Mrs. Bassi. I am no longer Mrs. Bassi. Please don't refer to me as that. Peter, I do not want anything from you. Not money, not the cars, absolutely nothing. The only thing I want is a divorce. I want to end the sham of a marriage. Our marriage is not a sham. Could you both calm down so we can carry on? You see, I am not giving up on us. I, I believe we can, we can patch things together. Well, I do not want to do that. What I want is a divorce. I don't want a divorce. Who cares what you want, Peter? You're the reason we're here in the first place. Olivia. I still love you. Well, I still hate you, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Um, I think we'll have to continue with this meeting some other day. My next appointment is here. Thank you very much. Um, hold on, Olivia. Olivia. Hold on, please. Peter, why did you do that today? What? You're late coming. Was it intentional? Maybe. Peter, why wouldn't you just let me go? Because I cannot do without you. Honestly, I can't do without you. I can't give you what you want. You can't do without me. You can't do that. Those words don't move me anymore. Not after everything that you did. Baby. Just, just see, just tell me anything you want me to do. No matter how difficult or ridiculous it is, I will do a it. A divorce, I'm... Peter. That's what I want. Baby, I love you. Do you love me? That's why you rendered me childless, right? It's all a mistake. Listen, I don't want to hear any more of your lies. Now leave me alone in peace and let me leave. O o o Olivia, no. Please, can you hear me out? Peter! Get the hell out of my way or I will not be responsible for what happens to you if you don't. Olivia, please. Excuse me. Olivia. I'm guessing the meeting didn't go well. You didn't even go at all. Why? Can you imagine Peter came late? <sighs> yes, I can. You're not supposed to answer that question. Really? Yes, it was a rhetorical question. Okay, I'm sorry. But we both know why Peter is stalling. Well, I am not going to go back to him. I do not want to stay married to him and that's it. <sighs> Peter doesn't seem to agree. Well, he doesn't have a choice. He has to agree sooner or later because I am done. <sighs> Olivia. Are you sure this is what you really want? Yes. Peter hurt me. He hurt me so bad. I know. It's so okay. every time I see him, all I see is a liar and a cheat. I'm done. I'm done. Are you going to tell me what is wrong?
the meeting with the lawyer didn't go the way I planned. <sighs> I knew something was bothering you actually. Leave your one half of your properties for settlement, right? I'm not surprised. Women will always be the same after all. You got it all wrong. She actually wants nothing from me. All she wants from me is to sign the divorce papers. That's good for you, man. Why are you unhappy? All you just need to do is go there, sign the divorce papers and be free. Besides, they have nothing to lose, or do you? Henry, I have something to lose. What do you have to lose? My wife. Your wife. Peter, you rich, good looking, handsome young man. All you just need to do is snap your fingers. And hundreds of women come running to you. You don't get it, Henry. I don't want any other woman in my life. All I want is Olivia. I still love her. Come on, man. You can still love someone else. It's not that easy. You just have to give it a try. Come on. No. No, I can't. Olivia is my life. I don't want to divorce her. You will and you can. When you're ready to sign the paper, just let me know. Maybe I could help hold your hands if you want me to. Henry, can you just stop joking around? I am serious here. Can, can, you, can you relate with me normally? I, I, I am serious, Henry. Look, man, I know this is very difficult for you to do, but you have no choice here. You just have to get used to the fact that Olivia doesn't want you. That's just it. God. So I should just sign the divorce papers? Yes, man. The earlier, the better for you. I mean. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I can't believe my marriage is about to crash. Just like that. Just, just for one little mistake. Oh. Shit happens, my friend. Oh. I'm finished. Don't be ridiculous. You're just, just starting life. <laughs> Henry, you know what? Uh, enough of all this, your advice, all right? But I'm not going to do any damn thing you're trying to tell me now, okay? It's Olivia or nobody. I am in love with her and I am not going to let her go. That is it. Peter, if that be the case, no problem. You've not been in love. Hey, sis. Hi, sis. So, I have a board meeting today, and honestly, none of your clothes fit. You better go and bring your clothes from your husband's house. I told you not to call him that, please. He's no longer my husband. I know. I'm sorry. Well, you're right. I should go and pick up my things. Do you want me to go with you? No, I'll go during my lunch break. I'm sure he won't be home by then. You still have the keys to his house? Yeah. Anyway, let me know when you change your mind on going alone. Mm. <laughs> oh, I hope you have some stretchy clothes. Mm, I do, somewhere in my wardrobe. Okay, and here I was thinking, <laughs> I got you always. <laughs> That was an amazing presentation. Ah, thank you. Honestly, I thought I was going to ruin it because I had a lot on my mind. Yeah, I heard about your marriage. What? How? Office gossip. They know? Well, <laughs> yes. See, the walls have ears. Besides, you have not had your wedding ring on for a long time now, and we all know how much you never like to take it off. Wow. I never knew you guys paid attention to my life. You're very difficult to ignore, Liv. You're back to calling me Liv. <laughs> well, you call me Ray, don't you? Well, fair enough. Hello? 
Are you going to take that? No, it's not important. I think the person on the other line doesn't agree with you. You know what? Let me take it. Hello? Yes, what do you want, Peter? No, I can't see you. We should be signing documents, not seeing each other. I'm done talking, Peter. And please don't call me again. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because I can come back if this is not it. Let me see the file, please. So I'll put it under as an You scared me. 
I'm sorry. What are you doing here? This is my house. Still, you're supposed to be at your place of work. I can't think about my business these days. Why? Never mind, don't answer that. It's none of my business anymore. What are you doing? I came to get my stuff. Do you want to change? I can excuse you. For real? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you, Peter. I am no longer your wife, so I don't have to bear the burden of seeing you naked anymore. Olivia, so seeing me naked now is a burden to you. Listen, I don't have time for this. I need to get to work, so. Don't do that. Put on some clothes. I won't. Then I'll leave. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm covered. Fine. Don't ever do that again. It's high time. You understand that I am I am no longer into you. I am over you. You're not over me yet. Olivia! Olivia, please wait, Olivia. Why should I wait? So you can kiss me again? Um, Olivia, I shouldn't have done that. It was so selfish of me. Please, I am sorry. Yeah, of course you're sorry. You know how to apologize very well. Or you feel like apologies will take everything away? Olivia, why are we doing this to us? I know we have gone through a painful loss, but... You don't get it, do you? I don't trust you anymore, Peter. And what's marriage without trust? Everything that's broken can be fixed. Olivia. 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 Please. Eh? I need you in this house. I need you in my life. Please. Wipe that thought off your head. Excuse me. Been a while trying to catch some sleep, but every time I try, it's hard for me. Let you sleep away, it's not that easy. It breaks me down, girl, I feel so dizzy. Babe, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's not the same without you by my side. If I had a chance to make it right, I'll always have you right here in my hands. That's where you belong. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? This is about Peter, isn't it? No. Do you still love him? No. Yes. Maybe. I don't even know. You went to his house to pick up your things. Something must have happened. He talked to me. We kissed. You can't be kissing a man you're about to divorce. I know. You don't want to go down that road, trust me. I know. You're sending the wrong signal. It, it wasn't intentional. And, and I left quickly before it went deeper. It could have gone deeper? Maybe you should rethink this whole thing. It's obvious you still love your... Peter. Yes, my body still yearns for him, but my heart doesn't. What's the difference?
Mrs. Bassi. Yeah, uh, the report from Void. Oh, thank you. And it's Miss. Oh, uh, finally divorced? I'll be by tomorrow. Your husband must be crazy to let a woman like you go. Well, I'm the one who's leaving. Uh, may I ask why? <laughs> no, Ray, you can't. Uh, I'm crossing my limits. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're actually like a best friend here. And I really appreciate your friendship. It's just that I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Look, I totally understand. Forgive my inquisitiveness. It's okay. So, how do you plan on winning this contract for our company? You won't believe the ideas I've got. Come, I I'll trust show you. you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Olivia has made up her mind. Lillian, you know I'm not a bad person. I just made one stupid mistake. Just one. Peter, I am so sorry. I know you regret all that happened. But we cannot turn back the hands of time. I think it's best for the both of you to just move on and just move on with your life. I can't let go of Olivia. It's not possible. But she wouldn't give me that chance to explain myself. Um, Peter, I'm so sorry, but you have to go now. Olivia will soon be back and I don't want her to meet you here. Lillian, can I still call you my sister? Of course. You will always be my big brother, Peter. Uh, uh, sis, you're back home so early today. Olivia. What is he doing here? Um, Olivia, please, can we sit down and talk? I'll leave you two to it. Excuse me. Oliver. Please. I am so sorry. Olivia. Please. Everything that has happened, it's all my fault. Please forgive me, but please find that one thing, that one good thing, the sweet memories, okay? The way we were madly in love with each other, let it be your striking force, you know? The, 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 the good right, times. Peter. It's all your fault. And I'll find it very difficult to forgive you. You hurt me. You tore my heart to shreds. I can't forgive you. Hmm. I need to heal. And staying married to you wouldn't let me heal. Baby, please. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too. Olivia, I will do anything. I will do anything to make your heart heal. Please. My love. Baby. some sleep but every time I try it's hard for me let you sleep away it's not that easy it breaks me down girl I feel so dizzy babe I'm sorry I apologize it's not the same without you by my side if I had a chance to make it right I'll always have you right are you all right I feel like like I'm about to explode. It hurts so bad. Pieces. It hurts so bad. You'll be fine. 
I've got you. Okay. I am just a shadow of myself. Feels like I am living someone else's life. I'm staring at the door, hoping that someday you'll be coming home. I cannot seem to get it off my mind. Wish I could, I would take the chance. The way I feel is driving me insane. Girl, I want to know, how do I survive? Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm, I'm working. I know. It is time to work on your husband. <laughs> okay, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. Just give me 30 minutes, okay? No. All right, 20. Oh, come on, baby. My love, you've been overdoing this work since you got promoted. Darling, you see, I've been made the managing director in a male-dominated entity. I, I need to keep up. I need to stay on top of my game. So I should suffer because of that? No, I'm just saying give me 20 minutes. I'm almost done and I will come to you. Olivia, you keep giving me excuses every other time. But I'm huh? not. If we continue like this, our sex life is as good as dead. Hey, hey let it die now. Is it food? Uh -uh. It is food for me. It is food for me. Speak for yourself. Yes, give it to me. Give me that food. It is good for my Shh, soul. Calm down. David is in the room. And then let me, make me calm down so that I won't disturb David. Okay, do you know what? Let me just finish what I need to do. And, and, I'll, and, you, and I'll be all you. Olivia, I can't keep holding back my sexual orders when I have a wife. See? You have nothing to prove to anybody, all right? You got promoted because you deserve it. I know, but these men are waiting for me to fail. Do you know they are waiting for me to mess up? Come on, I just need to do my job and do it diligently and maintain my status quo, please. So? So 20 minutes, 15 minutes, I'll be with you. Okay. I promise. No, it's all right. This is something you said yesterday night. But you know what? I am fine. Peter, come on. Olivia, I am fine. It's all right. Peter. No, 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 no. It's all right. Peter, don't be like this now. And where are you going? Going out, of course. My friend Henry wanted me to hang out with him, but I declined his request because I wanted to have a good time with my wife. Since that is not working, let me go out and have fun with my friend. Just five more minutes. Keep the five minutes. Peter. Have fun. Oh. You're still walking? I thought you say you'd be done in 30 minutes. I only said that to pacify you. I still have a lot of work to do. Oh. I see. How was the hangout? Mm. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh. She don't seem... Okay. You seem disturbed. Did anything happen at the hangout? <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And if I look disturbed, it is because my wife doesn't care about me. Come on, darling. <sighs> hey, madam. Face your work. I need to use the restroom.
Hello, baby. I'm fine. How are you? Have you picked David from school? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Um, so what are you doing? Okay, okay. So why not come meet me at uh, Kara's place? All right. Okay, baby. Okay. Baby. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Yes, sweetheart. How are you? Mm. I'm fine. Mm, so you're here enjoying while oh. I'm busy waiting to, hey. to pick up David. Don't worry, have yours too. Um, waiter. One glass, please. Okay. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. Well, As usual. My all angel. those parents in school, I want to show them too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hello. Who? Um, please, it's the wrong number. Wrong number, please. What was that? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe the person called my number in error. Yeah. Is my drink coming? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. The glass, please. Hey, darling. Hi, sweetheart. <clears throat> How do I look? Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so. I know that I haven't been in my best behavior. Uh, mm. okay. I forgive you. She didn't even let me finish. Whatever you have to say, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that my phone? Uh, I don't know. Ignore it. Oh, <coughs> but it could be work. Ignore it, baby. Listen, I have been promoted and it comes with a territory, okay? See, I told you, it's work. And since when do you start getting official calls at this odd hour? Like I told you, it comes with a territory. Hello? Hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear my phone ring on time. Okay. No, 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 no that's fine. I'll, I'll check it out. I would um, get my system right now and check it out. And I can send it to you and we can talk about it after. Okay, thanks, bye. See, I'm, I'm, I promise you it will only take a minute. Please. Huh? I'll be right back, honey. Just give me a second, okay? <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> Olivia, stop it. <sighs> I will stop it!
you know this is a live guy, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you want to jump into the pool, you put it in your arms. So you can be able to float. You get? <laughs> right, come, let's play with it. Yeah, so, okay, let's use this, right? It can enter my hand, because my hand is big. You see? It can enter your hand. You put your hand, okay? Uh, that's it. You can float on the water. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Peter, <laughs> are you cheating on me? Cheating on you? Yes. I am not cheating on you, baby. Why would you ask me that? Because your girlfriend just sent you a text, that's why. Girlfriend? Baby, I don't have a girlfriend. So you're telling me that a random girl just sent you nudes? Nudes? Let me see. Oh, this girl is so crazy. I mean, um, honey, it's not what it looks like. I... Spare me the details. I don't want to hear any of it. Baby, Olivia. Olivia, please don't do this. Don't do what? At least give me the chance to explain. Explain what? That you have been cheating on me? I've not been cheating on you. Really? So what are you doing in a hotel room with a woman? Checking the weather? Baby, nothing happened. Really? Nothing yes. happened, yet she sends you nudes? She's crazy. Trust me, nothing happened between us, baby. Well, I do not believe you. What's wrong? David. David. Oh, David. David. Oh my God. David. 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 Olivia, can we talk? Please. Talk about what? We've not talked since our son David died. And I think it's not healthy for you. Do you think I want to have a conversation with you? There's absolutely nothing I want to discuss with you. In fact, the mere sight of you disgusts me. Talk to someone else. My friend suggested a therapist. A therapist? A therapist? You think a therapist will erase the pain that I feel inside me? Peter, 
I suggest you focus on yourself and leave me the hell alone. I don't need a therapist, but clearly you do. Excuse me. Baby, Olivia, Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, please. Let it go. Please forgive me. I will never, ever, forgive you for this. I don't. I'll never forgive you. Just a shadow of myself Feels like I am living someone else's life I'm staring at the door Hoping that someday you'll be coming home I cannot seem to get you off my mind Wish I could, I would take the chance The way I feel is driving me insane Girl, I wanna know How do I survive Without you in my arms I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away, walk away. But here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy. It feels so different with someone else. With someone else. Cause in my hands, in my hands, that's where you belong. Yeah. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? Walk away. Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy, it feels so different with someone else. Baby, please don't leave. Please, I beg you. Please don't leave. We need each other now. Don't leave me, please. Don't leave you. Our only son is dead. Because of you. You killed him. I didn't. Maybe I did not kill him. It, 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 it's, it, it's just a mistake. 
Please. What is done is done. Baby, I, I know I cannot change what has happened. All right? But please, we have to go through this together. T together we, we, we conquer the whole sorrow. Please. I can't go through anything with you. I want a divorce. What? Peter, I am tired. And I am exhausted. There's nothing to, to live for anymore. Olivia, please. Baby, we can do this together. Baby, please don't go. O Olivia, don't leave me, please. sleep at all last night? Honestly, I didn't. Today's the day, right? Yes. You don't look ready, sis. If this divorce is what you really want, why couldn't you sleep last night? Oh, because I couldn't wait for the day to come, that's all. I hope you know you're allowed to change your mind. You and Peter are miserable without each other. If there is a part of you that wants to give your marriage another chance, just do it, please. Are you done? I know you blame Peter for what happened. But we both know that David's death is also your fault. If you want to forgive Peter, just do it and save yourself from this misery. Wow. Thank you so much for your support, Lillian. Now I know where your loyalties lie and, and, and who you support in this whole tragedy. How is David's death my fault? Was I the one that abandoned him by the pool? He says, if there is no sin, then forgiveness will be useless. You know, Peter never wanted that to happen to David. And enough! I won't stand here and listen to this useless rant of yours. Excuse me. Hey, I was actually looking for you. Do you want to tell me something? Yes, but uh, if this is not a good time, we can talk later. Yeah, I mean, one of those moods. Then you need some space. Uh, we can do this later. Thank you. Uh, hey, listen, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thanks, Ray. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Do you want a hug or something? Yeah, that sounded awkward. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please forget I said that. I'm, I'm sorry. It didn't sound awkward, it's just... Look, you don't have to explain. I shouldn't have said that in the first place. I'll see you later. Now that we've shared your assets, all that is left is for you both to sign the divorce papers. Is this what you really want? Where are the papers?
that's all. I don't know why you don't want to go to the hospital. You know why? No, I don't. You tell me. Mm -hmm. Obviously, heartbreak cannot be treated in the hospital. Don't tell me it's the money in your marriage. And what if I'm still doing that? Come on, it's been months, for goodness sake. You look like hell. You can't die because your, 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 your wife left you. Mm. So who is talking about that here? I fear what may happen if you don't take your heart serious. Henry, nothing is going to happen. You're just blowing things out of proportion. It's just this little headache that won't let me be. I need to drive you to the hospital. You need to see a doctor. Come on. Henry, I don't need to see any doctor. Peter, you just have to get used to the fact that your marriage is over. Come on, man, pick up your pieces and move on. Mm. I am not ready to do that now. So. I don't even know why I'm bothering myself over this whole thing. Mm -hmm. You can just do anything you want to do with yourself, if that be the case. Good for you. So rest. Mm. I need to get a glass of water in the fridge. Don't worry, let me do that for you. It hasn't gotten to that, bro. I can do it myself. I'm fine. Sorry. He needs a lot of rest. What is wrong with my friend? Why did he collapse? Um, well, his blood pressure is really high. And I'm happy you brought him when you did. Please, is he going to be OK? <laughs> yes, of course he will. We, we have to observe him for maybe today and tomorrow. Um, but is he under any form of pressure? <sighs> yes. You know, ever since his wife left him, he hasn't been the same. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's weird to see a man this hurts because his wife left him. Isn't it ridiculous? He must really love her, but anyway, that's really not my business. I have to attend to other patients, so I will see you guys later. You'll right. be fine. You take care of yourself. You too. I am just a shadow of myself. Feels like I am leaving someone else's life. I'm staring at the door, hoping that someday you'll be coming home. I cannot seem to get it off my mind. Wish I could, I would take the chance. The way I feel is driving me insane. Girl, I want to know, how do I survive without you in my hands? <clears throat> I guess it is so easy. Happy Val's Day, Olivia. Is today Val's Day? Yes, it is. What happened to all the romantic bones on your body? Well, I guess they were crushed with the divorce, so... Well, like they say, dead bones shall rise again. <laughs> this is for you. You got me flowers? Yes, I did. And the gift? It's beautiful. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. But you know you didn't have to. Yes, I had to, and you know why. Ray, I'm not ready to be romantically involved. Olivia, I, I don't mean to pressure you or anything, but it's been months since your divorce. You should just maybe give love another chance. I know, but I'm not ready. It's okay. It's, it's fine. I mean, I've waited all these years. Waiting a few more months won't hurt. 
I'm confused. What, what do you mean by waited all these years? You're so clueless. But let's talk about it some other time, okay? Just enjoy your gift. Hey girl, so I am going on a date. Yeah! <laughs> I've been trying to reach him. His numbers have been switched off. Who? Peter. Oh, I'm going on a date with Raymond. What? Do I know him? No. Raymond, my colleague. Office romance never ends well. Now, why would you say that? When you guys break up now, things will become awkward at work. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We haven't even started dating. You're talking about the end already. Sorry. I was just trying to drive my point home. Well, remind me never to tell you about my love life again. Now, wow. All because I said my mind. <laughs> and have you even thought about the fact that his phone might have been missing? I don't think so. If that was the case, he would have gotten a new one. I don't think you should bother your head about him. Trust me. I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away. Someone's appetite has improved. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> How are you feeling? So much better now, at least the headache is completely gone. That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, from the look of things, you're believing today? Mm. Other patients would have jumped at the news. Mm. Maybe if I had someone at home waiting for me, I would have been jumping too. Look, Peter. I know that you're going through a lot right now. But you have to take care of yourself. Listen, I don't want you to come back here. Okay? Why are you sounding as if you know my story? That's because I do. Henry told me everything. Mm, Henry. That one doesn't even know when to shut up. Oh. On the brighter side, he did you a favor. Because, I mean, knowing our patient's ailment helps us doctors. Mm. Oh. Meanwhile, where is he? On a trip to London. He left this morning. Oh, okay. Listen, I know you might feel miserable right now. But trust me, it will only get better. How would you know? Let's just say I've been where you are right now. Your husband left you? <laughs> no. My fiancé died. Oh. Ah, so sad. I set my sympathy and ways. It's fine. I mean, that was a long time ago. Uh, so, well, I'm heading out to lunch, wanted to know if you uh, wanted to come with. No, I'm not hungry, thanks. Have you had anything to eat? No, I'm not hungry. I've not, but I'm not hungry. Well, you could still come with me and watch me eat. Raymond, I know what you're trying to do, but I'm still not ready. <laughs> okay, but I just need you to know that I'm not going to give up. I am going to keep asking until you say yes. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to take. I can't keep you waiting for so long. Look, it's not a problem. It's fine. Good things don't come that easy. So I'm willing to wait for as long as it takes. I don't even know what to say. Why don't you say, Ray, I am going to consider dating you soon. Enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. All right.
how is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? And walk away. Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy. It feels so different with someone else. Oh. I want to sell my wedding and engagement rings. Why? Because I don't have any use for them anymore. Why the hurry? Your divorce isn't even up to a year yet. Lillian, the sooner you accept that Peter and I are done, the better. Are you going to help me? Peter was discharged from the hospital today. Discharged? He hardly falls sick, so what happened? He didn't say. But he's fine now? Yeah, he said so. Thank God. So. Um, hi. Hi. You look good. Thanks. You too. Oh, thank you. You came for shopping? Yes, a few toiletries. Oh, okay. Lillian said you were ill. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I had a little malaria and typhoid, but I'm fine now. Yeah. Okay, that's yes. good. I better go. Duty calls. It's all right. Take care of yourself, huh? All right then. Bye. I knew something was wrong when I couldn't reach you. As you can see, I'm as fit as a fiddle now. So, you stop worrying, okay? <laughs> only stop worrying when you tell me what really happened. I actually slumped. Oh my God. Well, my friend Henry was with me the day it happened, so he rushed me to the hospital. So, what if Henry wasn't there at the time? My dear, I don't want to even think about it. Peter, you need to look after yourself. Well, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I will. Okay. I came to check up on you. Thank you so much. So thoughtful of you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Oh, don't worry. I'll get it. Oh, okay. Who are you? Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm Peter's doctor. Um, is he around? If you're his doctor, what are you doing in his house? <laughs> wow. We sure ask a lot of questions. Um, are you his sister or something? Yes. Oh, wow. Um, that's strange. What is strange? Well, Peter says he's an only child. Well, I... So please, can I see my patient? I really need to know how he's doing. Sure. If that's all you're here for. Thank you very much. Hey. Yeah. Going somewhere? Yes, to the usual spot to have lunch. Oh, same here. I didn't have breakfast. I'm actually very hungry. Oh. What? I see you're finally wearing the necklace that I got you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Yes, it is. Almost like it was made specifically for you. <laughs> you have your way with words. So does this mean that you finally decided to give poor me a chance? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're being serious, right? Yes. <laughs> Look, I promise you, you're not going to regret this decision. I promise. I know. So, are you coming? Yes, but I kind of have somewhere else in mind. That's if you don't mind. 
I don't, not at all. Uh, are we going in your car or mine? Let's go in mine. Okay, that's fine. I'll grab my car. I'll wait for you outside. <laughs> So we eat. Um, Raymond, hmm? <clears throat> we need to head back to the office now. What's the rush? We still have a bit of time. We have very even touched off. The auditors are coming in later. I have some documents to prepare before they come. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Peter, I'm talking to you. What are you going to eat? Um, Where's your head? What did you ask me? Ah. <laughs> is everything okay? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Everything is all right. It does not seem so, because you seem uh, off. I'm good. I'm good. Um, let's have lunch. All right? What am I doing to myself? Hello? Yes, Raymond. No, I'm okay. I just have a bit of a headache and uh, Qatar. That's why it sound like that. Yeah. Thank you. I've taken some medicine. All right. See you tomorrow. Good night. All right, see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Peter. I had such a good time. You're welcome, Doc. Are you ever going to stop calling me that? <laughs> Are you a doctor, right? I know I'm your doctor, but I want to be more than a doctor to you, Peter. Oh. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I can't do this now. We're not there yet. It's fine, I understand. What do you think? About what? My dress, of course. Mm. Depends on where you're wearing it to. To a date. I told you about it. With that office guy, right? 
Stop calling him that office guy. He's got a name. His name is Raymond. What is he like? Smart, hardworking, diligent. <laughs> I'm not talking about his work ethics. What is he like outside work? Is he generous? Is he caring? Is he fun? Is he... Well, how am I supposed to know that in a day? That's why there's something called dating. Okay then, happy dating. Well, back to my dress. Mm. Too revealing. It screams desperation. What? I'm not desperate. Then you should get something better. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait. What a coincidence. What? You and Peter started seeing new partners almost at the same time. <laughs> How come you're the only one who gets this information? It didn't cross your mind? No, it didn't cross my mind. Please, can you come and help me choose? Who knew I'll be doing this again? Doing what? Picking a dress for your first date. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? And walk away. Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not the Hi. It feels so different. You're Lillian, right? Yeah. The resemblance is quite striking. It's good to finally meet you. Good to meet you too. Please, sit. Thank you. Uh, could you please tell Olivia that I'm here? In a minute. I want to talk to you first. Okay. I'm sure you know about my sister's relationship history. Yes, I do. She has been through a lot. And even though she may not accept it, she's still hurting. I know where you're headed with this. Tell me. <clears throat> Lillian, I am not going to hurt your sister. I've been in love with her for a very long time now. Really? Yes. I only didn't say anything because I wanted to respect her marriage. Look, the last thing I want to do is to hurt your sister. I would do anything for her. I could even kill for her. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> that would be necessary. I'll hold you by your word, Raymond. Yes, dear. I didn't realize you were here already. <laughs> you look stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we? Yeah, sure. Have fun. All right, bye. some sleep but every time I try it's hard for me let you sleep away it's not that easy it breaks me down girl I feel so dizzy babe I'm sorry I apologize it's not the same without you by my side if I had a chance to make it right I'll always have you right here in my hands that's where you belong how is it so easy for you to turn and walk away, walk away now Hello? Lillian, why are you calling me when we're in the same house? What? Okay, I'm coming. Lillian! Lillian! Lillian, where are you? Happy birthday, Olivia! <laughs> wow. 
Wait, so you surprised me just to wish me happy birthday? Yes, I guess. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you. I made something special for you. Oh, thank you so much. Mission accomplished. <laughs> You're welcome, sis. Thank you. Come sit. Let's eat. Oh, can it be my birthday every day? I'll get it. Okay. Your second gift just arrived. Who is it from? I don't know. Ah. There's no name on it. it. Must be from Raymond. <sighs> I hate to say this, but that guy is gradually winning my heart. I told you it wasn't all that bad. Let's <laughs> open the gifts. No, let's eat first. Okay. It's One your thing birthday. At a time. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Salad first. Okay. <laughs> Birthday girl. Yes. <laughs> I'm coming. Hi, darling. Happy birthday. Baby. Oh, thank you. You brought me more gifts. Uh, what do you mean, more gifts? Didn't you send me a bouquet of flowers and gifts earlier on? Just, no, I didn't. No? Then who? She you know what? Never mind. I'll figure that out later. Sorry. Sorry. Happy birthday once again. Uh, thank you. So, where's Lillian? Uh, she went out. Oh, okay. Well, I hope she comes back soon because I want to take both of you out to somewhere very nice to celebrate your birthday. Really? Yes. She'll be so thrilled. I'll better call her. You know, first of all, come and see all the gifts I got. I got loads of gifts. Come, let me show you. Come, come, come. Yes, I got loads and loads and loads of gifts. You see the speaker that I always wanted? Hello, Lillian. 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 Are you okay? <coughs> oh, baby. <coughs> Just hold on, let me get you water, okay? <coughs> hold on. <coughs> Take it easy. Oh no, sorry, this is not Peter. But do you want to drop a message? Okay. Um, is that all? Okay, no problem, I'll tell him. All right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Oh, baby, um, sorry I had to rinse the glass. Uh, have some more? Oh, baby, this one is suddenly frowning. What's wrong? What's you going on? my problem, Peter. Me? Yes. How? Can you just tell me what's, what the problem is? Why is you buying gifts for your ex? Me? I... Like, the delivery company called. They wanted you to know that your gifts were delivered successfully. Oh. Um, honestly, I. Peter, am I a joke to you? Uh, no, you're not. Then why the hell are you still buying gifts for your ex when you're in a relationship with me? Um, baby, I'm sorry, okay? It will never happen again. Peter, you need to know what you want. You need to figure out what you want. Come in, the door is open. Mm. 
If you're here to see Lillian, she's out. I'm here to see you. Thank you. So, why are you here to see me? I'm getting married soon. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Congratulations? Is that what you have to say to me? What else am I supposed to say? I was expecting... Um, Peter, you don't have to do that. I still love you and, you know, things like that. Well, I can't say that. You still love me. I can see it in your eyes. Love is not always enough. Love conquers all things. Well, I'm in love with someone else. If I take the step, no going back. Like I said, I am very happy for you. Have a good day. Coming. Yeah, has the patient eaten? Has the patient? Hi, babe. What are you doing here? I came to ask you an important question. You should have called. You could have said it over the phone. I'm having a very busy day. Can I do this on phone? Amanda, please marry me. I know you're thinking that I am not ready to move on, but I am. I am ready to let go of my past. Please marry me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we? Yes. After you. I had a great time. We should actually do this more often. Hi, Olivia. Hi, I'm Rainy. Oh, good to meet you. Likewise. This is my fiancée, Amanda. Oh. Hi, Amanda. Very nice to meet you. Likewise. Um, congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Olivia. Would you guys be attending the wedding? Uh, yes, of course. Just send us an invite when it's ready. Okay. We'll do right. that. Bye. Yeah, bye.
eyes on the road. They are on the road. Are you okay? You look worried. I do. Yes, ever since we left the restaurant, you've been moody. I just have a headache. If you say so. So why didn't you tell me that Peter was engaged? I didn't know until today. Well, I'm glad he's getting married. That means I have you all to myself. Look, our wedding will be next. I love you, baby. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. <laughs> What's making you so happy? Pre-wedding photos of Peter and Amanda. They're so cute. Where did you see them? On Peter's Facebook page. Do you want to see? Sure. <laughs> Look. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. See. <laughs> what do you think? I think I think they match made in heaven. I agree. I can already imagine how beautiful their children will look. <laughs> Where are you going? To my room. Been a while trying to catch some sleep. But every time I try, it's hard for me. Let you sleep away, it's not that easy. It breaks me down, girl, I feel so dizzy. Babe, I'm sorry, I apologize. It's not the same without you by my side. If I had a chance to make it right, I'll always have you right here in my hands. That's where you belong. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? And walk away. Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy. It feels so different with someone else. Oh. I am just a shadow of myself. Feels like I am living someone else's life. I'm staring at the door, hoping that someday you'll be coming home. I cannot seem to get you off my mind. Wish I could, I would take the chance. The way I feel is driving me insane. Girl, I want to know, how do I survive without you in my arms? I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away, walk away. But here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy. It feels so different with someone else. With someone else. Cause in my head, in my head, that's where you belong. Yeah. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? Walk away. Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy. It feels so different with someone else. Oh, 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 oh. I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away. Oh, 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 oh. How is it so easy for you to turn and walk away? Is everything okay? Who's texting you? Oh. It's Lillian. She wants me to buy her toiletries on my way back. Is that why you look so upset? Because of toiletries? No, I... This is your ex, Peter. Why is he still texting you? I thought you guys were done with each other. We're done. He's just, um... 
I, I, I don't know. He's, he, he just texts me all of a sudden. And... Look, don't even try to lie to me right now. Are you seeing him behind my back? What? Why? Why would you ask me that? Don't try to change the subject. You're not going to outsmart me on this one. Just tell me the truth. No! Look, I, I don't believe you. You're lying to me. You're lying to me, Olivia. I am not. Please, Ray, slow down. You're Stop driving trying too to fast. change the subject. You're seeing him behind my back, right? I am not. Please, can you slow down? You're driving too fast. Don't Bye. tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do, Please, all right? You're After not... everything I've done for you, I have loved you, and you, you're still seeing him. It's not better we both just die. You're not thinking straight. That way you, you will learn to just stop seeing your ex. Please, you're not thinking straight right now. Please, just, loved you. just stop the you car. everything. Please. You're still seeing him behind my back. Please, just park. You're driving too fast. Ray. No problem. It's better now. Let's Ray! Ray, please. Ray, please. Ray! Ah! What's wrong? I'm just trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I really don't believe that. I mean, you stayed packing since yesterday. <sighs> People are going to miss our flight. I doubt. Yeah, hello. What happened? Can you, can you please calm down? Put yourself. Can you calm down? Put yourself together and talk to me. Where, where is she? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'll be there right away. I'll, I'll be there right away. Um. What's the problem now? I, I, I'm sorry, Amanda. I have to be at the hospital now. Okay. Why? Uh, Olivia had a terrible accident. Uh huh. I don't understand. Like we're supposed to be at the airport. Uh, but we can postpone it, can't we? We cannot postpone it. Do you know how much time I have to take her from work to even be able to do this? You don't understand. I have to be there for her, all right? She's not your responsibility anymore. Um, please, I don't want to argue about this, all right? I have to be there now. If you leave, we are done. You didn't just say that. I mean every word. It's either her or me. What is all this bullshit you've well, been doing since? it's all right. Um, we'll talk about that when I return, okay? Please, I have to go. Where is she? Where is she? Lillian, where, talk to me. Where is she? She's in the theater. The doctor says she's in a critical condition. Oh my goodness. What happened? What's the cause of the accident? I don't know. Raymond oh. was the one driving when it happened. Raymond? Raymond, where is that bastard? Where is he? Lillian, talk to me. Where is he? Raymond is dead. Raymond is dead. Raymond is dead. <laughs> um, nurse, please, um, how can I see my wife? I'm the doctor. Doctor, how is she? Um, she made it right? Yes. Oh, oh. oh. the surgery was good. successful. Oh. oh. Thank you, God. So, uh, but the bad news there is that uh, the spinal cord was badly damaged. What? Yes. And uh, she will be confined dead to a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Doctor! Uh, that cannot happen, Doctor. Not Olivia. But uh, uh, let's, let's also thank God <laughs> that she made it. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. look, is there nothing we can do? No, no, can, I, can I see her? Hi, Olivia. Mm. Peter, what is she going to do? I don't know. How will Olivia take uh, this terrible news? No, this no, can't be no, true. No, no, no. Olivia. This can't be true. This can't be true.
Thank God you're still here. You forgot your keys, so I have to stay. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't tell me you were going to stay all night at the hospital. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry about that. Well, you should have called. I wanted to call, but it skipped my mind. <laughs> That's because I'm not in there. Oh, you don't say that, baby. That's not true. This is your ring. What are you doing? You had a choice to make yesterday. And you chose her. That's crazy. Uh, but she had an accident. It doesn't matter. I can't be stuck on a man who is hung up on his ex. I deserve better than this. Uh, and I'm going to get it. Please, I'm sorry, okay? I know. Hey, baby, I can't take this. All right? Please. You, you know I love you so much. You know that. But you love her more than you will ever love me. And that's why I'm doing this for the both of us. I'm sorry, please. How is she? She's still unconscious. I hope she gets better soon. Um. Baby. Baby. Hi. Is it true? Is it true that I'll never be able to walk again? Olivia, please calm down. How can I be calm? When my whole life has been ruined. No, sis. Your life is not ruined. What is he doing here? Peter has hardly left your side since it happened. He's been... I want him out. Olivia, please calm down. Ask him to leave now. Olivia, please just listen to me. Um, Lillian, it's all right. I'll leave. Olivia. Leave. Get well soon. I don't want to ever see him again. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes, I do. I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so Girl, I want to know how do I survive without you in my hands? I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away, walk away. But here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy, it feels so deep. Do you want to talk about it? She does not want to see me. And you think drinking yourself to stupor is going to help you? She's going to be confined on a wheelchair for the rest of her life. And I think she blames me for that. I understand, but you need to give her space. Like if you really want to speak to her, you can contact her through her sister. She needs space right now, and you have to understand that. Okay? Okay. So you mean, even with the fact that she's going to be on the wheelchair for the rest of her life, you still want to be with her? Yes. I love her so much. 
I really hope she realizes how much of a lucky person she is to have you. Anyway, did you see my red sneakers? You can go upstairs and check around the wardrobe. Olivia, I still love you. Olivia. Are you alright? Do I look alright to you? Since you're shouting. You asked me a question, didn't you? I have lost the use of my legs. I have lost my job. When people see me, they just stare. I have lost everything. And you're asking me if I am all right. No, Lillian, I am not all right. Sis, that is not true. You have not lost everything. You still have me. Please, I just want to be left alone. I just came to tell you that dinner is ready if you're hungry. I am not. Since you've not eaten anything. Well, that's me. because I am not hungry. That is not true. You have to eat something. Did you hear a word of what I said? I said, get out. Fine. Go on. Throw yourself a pity party for all I care. Sorry. I'm really sorry. It's so hard to come to the realization of what my life is right now. I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. I know, sis. But you have to let me help you. You can't do this alone. You need help. It's so hard. It's so hard to believe that I will be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of my life. Please don't cry, sis. You don't know how happy I am that you're still alive. We should be grateful that you survived that terrible accident. I know you so well, Olivia. Being in a wheelchair has got nothing on you. You're a go-getter, and I believe you can still achieve anything no matter the circumstances. I believe in you. Thank you. I love you. It's okay. I know you like banana. We shall cook. I will take the chance. Come in. Hi, Peter. Hey, Lillian. How are you doing? I'm fine. Hi. I thought I told you that I do not want to ever see or talk to you again. Why? You're asking me why? You're asking me why? You are the reason I am the way I am right now. If you had not cheated on me while we were married, I would not be crippled right now. I never cheated on you, my love. Never did that. I thought you said you wanted to spend some time with your wife, Olivia. She does not have my time now. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. How do you mean? You see, ever since she got promoted, she hardly have time for me. She sometimes neglects our son. Are you serious? Is I'm that how bad it is now? <laughs> You've not heard mm -hmm. anything yet. 
That explains why you look so upset. Come on, shut up, man. Say, I miss my wife. I, I, I miss my wife. Before now, we hardly get our hands off each other. We... I need to get my wife back. Hold on. Are you trying to say I haven't been getting any of that or what? I didn't say anything. You don't have to. Don't worry. I think I know what you need. Where are you going? Chill, man. I'll be right back. Henry. Henry. What's up, man? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Peter, what are you thinking? I don't do stuff like that. Alright? I am married. I'm a married man. Come on, man. I just wanted to ease off some stress since Olivia couldn't do it. I've arranged. Henry, <laughs> I am not interested. Shh. Here comes the pit stop, sir. How are you doing, pretty? I hope you're good. Oh, I like your hair. You're not looking bad at all. Mm. What's the problem? What's the problem? Why did you stop? I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do this. Why? I'm a married man. I'm married. And so? I have to go. That does not mean that you're does not mean you won't have fun. No, just, just take care of yourself, okay? I am crippled now. What more do you want from me? Your love. I don't care about your condition. All I want is for you to give me the second chance to love you better. Get out. Baby. I said, get out. Just another chance. What took you so long? Peter is outside. What do you mean Peter is outside? By this time... Are you going to talk to him now? I know you blame him for your accidents, but we both know that Raymond is the only one who is responsible. He drove that car, not Peter. I don't want his pity. He does not pity you, sis. You know that. I'm going to let him in so you both can talk.
your right to blame me for all that has happened. It's all my fault. No, Peter. It's not your fault. The death of our son took its toll on me. Then I shut down. And I shut everyone out. I didn't consider your feelings. I should have done better. I understand. It took me time to forgive myself for such a terrible mistake that made us lose our son. Losing a child is one of the hardest things a couple can go through. Baby, please forgive me and give us a chance. I forgive you, Peter. But I should have done that a long time ago. Look at me now. You don't deserve to be. Baby. Baby. Your condition does not make you any less a human being. You're still that beautiful, sexy, loving, amazing woman I fell in love with six years ago. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure you still want me this way? Yes, baby, I do. I tried living without you. But I have come to realize that you're all I need to breathe and live in this life. I love you. Now and forever till death do us part. I love you too. I love you so much, baby. I'm sorry. Oh. some sleep but every time I try it's hard for me let you sleep away it's not that easy it breaks me down girl I feel so dizzy babe I'm sorry I apologize it's not the same without you by my side if I had a chance to make it right I'll always have you right here in my hands that's where you belong how is it so easy for you to turn and walk away, and walk away? Now here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy, it feels so different with someone else. I am just a shadow of myself, feels like I am living someone else's life. I'm staring at the door, hoping that someday you'll be coming home. I cannot seem to get it off my mind. Wish I could, I would take the chance. The way I feel is driving me insane. Girl, I wanna know how do I survive without you in my hands? I guess it is so easy for you to turn and walk away. Walk away, but here I am, trying to right the wrongs. Moving on is not that easy, it feels so different with someone else. Someone else. 